All right, welcome to another Revolutionary Computer Solutions Tech Tip. Today I'm just going to show you a, basically the simple wiring of how to wire up a modem and a router. I'm not going to get into the settings, but I am going to get into where the actual wires go. There's been many times that I went out to customers' houses and I've just seen that, you know, a wire was in the wrong place and it was a simple fix of just moving one wire to a separate place. And so I'm just going to show you, you know, if you're trying to hook a modem and a router up, this is a cable modem not a DSL modem but it's basically the same thing so anyway, let's just go over the parts here here's the coax cable in your wall it's usually gonna be where your TV comes out to this is a coax cable this is a cable modem this is the Ethernet cable this is a wireless router and this is the back of your computer for starters we'll come out of the wall with this cable here your coax cable we'll use a cable just like this to come from the wall to the cable modem. And there's only one on the back there, so it's the only place it can go. This ethernet cable here, we're gonna use in a couple different places, so you'll need more than one of those. This is the only ethernet port on the back of the cable modem, and we're gonna come from here to the WAN. It's W-A-N, Wide Area Network, or it might say internet. And that's the most common problem I see is people are coming from here to one of these ports. These ports go out to computers. This port here is the input from a modem so that's the most common problem I see is this cable going into one of these so anyway you come out to the WAN <clears throat> wide area network or internet in now we can use any one of these four ports here they're all the same one two three or four and we're gonna come from one of those with a same with the same type of cable the Ethernet cable to the back of your computer right here and almost every computer is gonna have that port right there and it's the same cable right here the Ethernet cable that's basically the, in short, the wiring diagram for hooking up a cable modem to a router. Now, you're also going to have a wireless signal if it's a wireless router, and, you know, that will go out to laptops and Apple TVs, Roku's, whatever else you're running wireless in your house. But for the most part, pretty simple. Coax from the wall to the modem, Ethernet from the out port to the in port. That's the most common problem I see. And then one of the outputs to the back of your computer. Hope that helps you out. Until next time, we will see you later. Thanks for watching.